Uh, I, um, I, I will permit this. I will permit this. Oh, you're going to be watching Dark Souls 2 now, Grumpy Girls. It's lame, innit? Like, there'll be a lot of people in the same boat going, I actually wanted to wait and play it unspoiled. But, but six weeks wait when everybody's going to be paggering the fuck out of it. And unfortunately, I mean, it's not my fault that they fucked up like that. And there's just no way that I'm going to wait that long. There's just no way. But like I say, you, you feel kind of bad at the same time, because like some people would have liked to have seen it unspoiled, but obviously like there's just no way they're not going to watch streams at all. Uh, and you know, folk like me are kind of part of the problem, but it's not our fault that it's been so delayed. I mean, to be honest, I'm incredibly solid that it's two days I'm going to have to wait outside of the American release. It's fucking 2014. And we've still got this bullshit Friday release date. Crap. Absolute crap. It's like, it was originally started to be like, to apparently fucking maintain competition and stuff like that, you know, not be anti-competitive to small businesses that couldn't acquire as copies as fast and as many as the big stores. Absolute bullshit. It never did nothing like that. Nothing. And nowadays, it actually is anti-competitive. I mean, I mean, there's there's a big chunk of playthroughers. Not me, thankfully. I mean, I mean, as you see me South Park there, it's not like I was there on Friday night. Like fucking, I've got to get in there because on release stuff like that. Thankfully, that don't affect me so much. I mean, it only pisses me off in this case because I actually want to fucking play it. I want to play Titan so uh, Titanfall and Dark Souls Two on Tuesday. Like Americans are gonna, not on Thursday and Friday. Like Europeans have to. But, like I say, I mean, there'd be a, a large portion of um, playthroughers and commentary dudes that would say it's anti-competitive that the American playthroughers get it on a Tuesday and the European playthroughers have to wait like two or three days, af well, three days after that. That's anti-competitive. Now, thankfully, I don't revolve my, um, my streams and my videos around, like, what's currently hot and shit like that, you know, like, well, I'll jump on this new game bandwagon or anything like that. Thankfully, like, uh, that's not the way I go about my shit, but it does actually affect me in this case, but only in, a, only in the same way that it would affect me whether I was streaming or not. You know, I want to play it sooner. Much sooner. I've actually been calling it both things recently, Dark Fall and Titan Souls. I was saying this, I was saying this to you, but I don't want to clear. Like, I actually think Titan Souls is probably the easier to get if you don't know what I'm saying. Dark Falls much faster, but Titan Souls is probably the um, the more apparent if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Most people don't know what the fuck you're talking about, though. Exactly. But like I say, I'm fucking salty that I have to wait two, day two days for Dark Souls, and I'm salty about that. Three days for Titan, for uh, Titan Souls, and I'm salty about that. The Dark Souls 2 PC version is hyper salt. That is like a big old dump truck of salt right over me. And so, oh, you salty, bro. You can't even see me. I'm, I'm engulfed by a big fucking pile of salt. Yes, I'm fucking salty. Six weeks, and I'm... Pl I'm playing the fucking- this is- this is- I only have to wait two days compared to three days, most likely. Two days compared to most people that have to wait three days. On top of that, I actually get to play the console version, rather than waiting for the PC version. And I'm still a salty bitch about this. So, I can imagine some folk are incredibly fuck. You know, actually, it surprised me. You'd think folk would be absolutely raging. The folk I've spoken to have actually been quite downtrodden in how the sound about it's like, at least it's coming out for the PC. And it's like, that is a sad state of affairs with PC gamers being so downtrodden like that. Well, at least we're getting it. At least at some point. At least, you know, eventually we're going to get it. It's like, that's a sad state of affairs for PC. Not PC gamers or PC gaming, because we've done fucking nothing. And I definitely consider myself a PC gamer. I, I, thing is, I go where the games are. I have no, like, aversion to consoles whatsoever. I'll play anything on anything. 
But I am a PC gamer. So that royally um, grinds my fucking gears. Six week fucking delay. The PC version is a superior version. We are porting the console versions from the PC version. So clearly the PC version will be superior. And we will not make any mistakes like what we did last time. It's like... We've delayed it because of mouse and keyboard controls. You had the entire development to do that? It was pretty important. Oh, I don't think it is. I think you should- I think they should have some balls and say, if you're not playing it on a pad, duh. Everybody's got a fucking pad by now, man. Especially Dark Souls fans. Especially people that are gonna play Dark Souls, yes. So, there's no- most games- there's a lot of games now that say, if you don't have a pad, you're kind of fucked. So I don't know why the delay- I mean, I don't think they just delayed it for that, but I don't- I don't know why they'd even bother to tell you the truth. Yeah, they should have just removed it and then patched it in later on, just random out of nowhere. They should have had some fucking balls with that and just gone, look, if you don't have a pad, you can't play. Sorry. But if you've got, like, an Xbox pad, you're fucking sorted. If you've got a normal pad, you're sorted. You see, um, this is the problem for some developers. I mean, it's fair enough, though. Like, if you see it from a developer side, it's not a standard issue piece of equipment. Like, for a PC, you can always gu guarantee they've got a mouse and a keyboard. When you've got a console, you can always guarantee they've got a pad. This is why the Xbox One has the Kinect by default. So that developers can automatically go, you've got a Kinect. Whether you've got it plugged in or not is on you. Our game demands you have a Kinect. Same with like the 3DS, for an example. The, every 3DS has a stylus. Every 3DS has two screens. So the developers can work with that. The PC is a bit more wobbly than that. Like you can't just go, well, you, I mean, you can nowadays. It, like, when Dark Souls 1 came out, you couldn't... This shows you, like, From Software doesn't really know the PC landscape. When Dark Souls 1 came out, it was just becoming a standard on the PC to have a pad. Like, indie games were going, if you don't have a pad, you can't play and stuff like that, and blah, blah, blah. It was just becoming a standard. Dark Souls 2 released now, 2014. It's a standard. PCs have pads. If you don't have a pad... It's on that person. It's not like, you can never expect a PC player to have a pad. You kind of can. And if the door, it's on that player. It's, you know, you can't hold it against the platform. And like I said, I don't think From Software really knows the PC landscape, but they make an incredible game series, so I don't care. <laughs> you know, it really is one of those things. You know, Konami's actually getting like that towards, that's fucking, since I play the Metal Gear Solid games, I always had a slightly better taste in my mouth towards Konami. You know, with, with the YouTube stuff, obviously. With all the YouTube shit. You know, like, they're, they're not very YouTube friendly. So I had a bit of taste in my mouth towards them, but I always went, well, you know, Sand Hill, Castlevania, Metal Gear Solid. I can't really hold it against them too much. And now I've played fucking Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. Uh, oh, Grumpy. Your fucking copy of... Thank you, I meant to say, I, you, Grumpy Girl's here. You should have told me, Claire. Huh? No, I'm only joking. Um, cheers for the copy of Metal Gear Solid 4, Grumpy. Very much appreciated. I've read the manual. <laughs> I actually read the manual. I'm dying to fucking play it. Really, really dying to play it. I could guarantee you guys, if it hadn't have been South Park, that was actually way better than I expected. Oh my god. And then, um, Titan Souls next week. If it hadn't have been for those three games, a really great first person game. You know what I'm like with my first person games. Fucking love them. And Dark Souls game, you know what I'm like with Dark Souls, fucking love them. And South Park, you know what I'm like, fucking love South Park. It had to be free games for licenses or genres that I really fucking love. It had to be that. Do you know, so unfortunately, it's delayed Metal Gear Solid 4. And I really do think it's delayed that, because I'd have been playing that tonight otherwise. Very much looking forward to it. Oh yes, dude, I read your note as well. Thank very, very... I won't read your note... I won't read you note out on stream, but very kind words, sir. Very kind words. <laughs> Other than that, you're not the only one who can ramble. <laughs> you didn't read that bit on the back, Claire. I didn't, I didn't even notice I'd written something on the back. Because I showed Claire your, um, your note as well. And um, he'd written something on the back as well, saying you're not the only one who can ramble. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a ramble. It's a pretty long note. It's I didn't know. Like... It's more like a couple of sentences. More like a couple of paragraphs. There's some, some time going into that. <laughs> it's not that long. You're only used to limited... You're used to my notes, 
Okay. Yeah. I say you're not, so like, literally one sentence. Grumpy Gills actually tries. You could take a leaf out of Grumpy Gills' book oh, when it comes to notes. Him. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. Uh, that, uh, you hit the nail on the head there, Winder. Simply put, when you want to break from Darkfall, just um, watch Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh, I, I get what you did there. But that's it. That, that really is it. I'm going to haul the shit out of tit um, Titan Souls big time. It's going to be jumping between both of those two. If those games are to your taste, I apologise. Or you don't want it spoiled, I apologise. But that is literally going to be on the menu for a while. But the thing is, I actually like what I've been doing with HDSF. You know, the three-hour sets, one set per stream, three-hour sets, you know, doing it that way. So you never know. I might just some nights go, I'm not playing Dark Souls 2 tonight. I'm going to do an HDSF set. And then I'll play some Titan at Fall after that. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I know. Oh, Arisen, you asked me a question earlier on, and I meant to answer it, but I kept getting linked onto something else. Something and something and something and something else. And I can't remember what you asked me. You asked me something. Fuck, what was it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find what you asked. Sorry about that, dude. I, I, knew, I knew what you asked me, and then it went on for so, so long there, and that chain, I've forgotten now. It wasn't, have you heard of Banished? I, I think I answered that earlier on, didn't I? Yeah, because um, Claire had been playing it loads and blah, blah, blah. Somebody asked me some. I'm sure it was Arisen. Oh, dude! Your, um... Th this is to Arisen. Your, um, your, com your, t your conversion of that model is fucking awesome. I mean, I don't, I don't think I quite conveyed, um, like, fucking awesome in the, um, the Facebook message, but really, that was, re that's a fucking nice mod. I, don't, I think I said, like, I'd have I don't, I don't, I don't fielded that guy. Every fucking tabletop game I'd have played, he'd have been, like, commander. Awesome. Arisen Hemlock, um, he's, he's done, like, a TC. Well, not total conversion, but a conversion of, um... Is it a Grey Knight? Terminator? I'm not sure, do I? I think, is it a Grey Knight? I'm not sure. Oh, he, yeah, you asked, have you played Metal Slug 3? I'll answer that in a second. Um, yes, it was the Metal Slug. Oh, you mentioned about the conversion there as well. Um, but yeah, that really sweet. He converted, I think it's a Grey Knight, but I'm not sure. Certainly a Space Marine. And, um, he's got like a hood. You know, like a Reaper type hood. And a huge, dirty fucking, to me it looks like a power scythe. Proper good. Let me find the picture. I'll put it on stream for you. Let me find the picture. Give me one sec. Really, really sweet as fuck, um, thing. I shall find the picture for you guys. Here he is. Let me save that picture over here. Yeah. And... Let me add him to the stream. Add image. Yep. Browse. Where, where is it? Yeah, there it is. Look at this dude. Fucking sweet. Very, very cool, dude. Like I say, oh, oh no way. It's actually uh, a Dark Angel Deathwing Knight model. Modded with a scythe. Oh yeah, no, I can see the I can see the Dark Angel in him now. Yeah, with his um, knee pads. He's got some Dark Angel. Oh, perfect, even more fitting. Oh, Stumpy's saying he's got some conversion he wants to show off. If you've got some conversion you want to show off, Stumpy, just send me some links and I'll have a look at them. Does um, Stumpy play as Warhammer 40k and stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. I, he's just messaging me that. I, I'm not really listening. Sorry. I'm doing my pirating. Oh, did you, did you get the latest Tumble Bundle? I did not, sir. I did not yet. But that's fucking cool, is that, man? Very, very cool. Like I say, if I'd have still been playing Warhammer 40k, man, and I, I had that miniature... He would have been front. You have to show me some different angles of him as well, dudes. Uh, dude. Some, some different angles, but yeah, the hood and stuff like that, and the scythe. Very cool. That space... I like how menacing he looks around his head area with the hood and stuff like that. Space Marines look fucking menacing with, like, regular Reaper hoods and shit. Very cool. 
and his massive power scythe. Like, that's awesome, is that dude? Very, very cool. Oh, yes, and you have a question arisen. The, um... Have I played Metal Slug 3? Funny you ask that. I was playing that last night, remember, Claire? Huh? I was playing Metal Slug 3 last night, wasn't I? Huh. That, platfo oh, that, that platform game I was playing. I, I remember. I yep. Not Claire actually commented on how nice the animation when I was saying to it, like, Metal Slug games are actually pretty fucking old now. But they came out in, like, the, um, the SNK glory days, back on the, um, the Neo Geo and stuff like that, arcade and Neo Geo. And the Neo Geo, it, might, it was about 15 times more expensive than any console, and for the games. Like, the games were, like, hundreds of pounds each, and the actual home console was fucking ridiculously expensive. But the games were arcade games in your house. Seriously, ha arcade games in your house. So, like, the power compared to a platform at the time was incredible. Like, they could do... The, the, everything looked better, it sounded better, everything was beautifully animated. Like, I think Metal Slug looks gorgeous, even now. Fantastic sprite work and animation and stuff like that. Very, very good. Very good. Fun game as well. Very brutal. Does, the fucking Metal Slug games do not fuck about. If you wanted to actually complete it on your first run, don't do it on normal difficulty. Holy shit. Even 20 credits ain't enough. I'm gonna do an indigestion on you, Walk. Alpha Centauri. I'm gonna do an indigestion on that. Thank you very much, dude. I'm, uh, I, I, need, I wanted to get around to doing indigestions today, but I was like, stream. Stream first. But I'm definitely, I need to, there's a few um, injections I need to get out of the way first. Things that I've promised for a while now. And then, I'm going to be um, bombarded with indigestion on YouTube. And that year what looks quite interesting, it looks very bizarre. Very bizarre. How does one share photos from Facebook? Um, I, I don't know actually, to tell you the truth. Um, it was Arisen that sent me that photo. I, I don't know actually how you send them. I, I'm completely... Apologies, guys. If you ever send me a message on Facebook and then I don't reply for about three months, that uh, you have my apologies. I, it's not just me, neither. Chloe was saying the same thing. I just don't know the, um, the Facebook site very well and I just miss the, um, the messages. It just doesn't alert you particularly well. Yeah. I miss retrospects as well. I'm actually going to bring back retrospects, I think. I mean, it annoyed some people because it was like... I don't... Well, I think the problem was I wasn't HDSFing very much at the time, so it was kind of like a tease. You know, here's a bit of Mario World, here's a bit of... Well, I actually finished Kerber. But, you know, here's a bit of this game and here's a bit of that game, you know, rather than full HDSF. And I think folk were pining for a full HDSF. Now, HDSF is over on... Over on here. <laughs> over somewhere else. No, it's here. So, I think Retrospects might be alright again. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually, like, the, the, the immediate plan is indigestion on YouTube with Dark Souls and Titanfall video. Yeah, no, Titanfall was right. I thought, I thought I said Titan Souls. But no, Dark Souls and Titanfall videos and indigestion on YouTube and playthroughs on Twitch. It's pretty... Not, well, nothing's ever set in stone with me. Change me uh, as the saying goes, I change my mind more than I change my underwear. But... It is kind of looking like HGSF is over here. And won't be on YouTube. Even like, even stuff that's alright. Like, earlier on, how nice was it when I opened that door and there's that naked lass there? And I go, cool. <laughs> it don't, It don't matter because it's on Twitch. It's not on YouTube. On YouTube, you get your video flag for shit like that. How nice was it when I opened that door and there was a naked guy? How great was it when I opened that door in South Park and there's a naked lady there. <laughs> the best. For a minute, I didn't know you were talking about that. I was just like, how great was it when I opened that door and there was a naked lady? It's like, what the fuck have you been doing while I'm asleep? Somebody just burrupt me on uh, Twitch. Uh, somewhere. Oh, on me. I got, I got, I got burrupt. I'm not sure by what, though. It was like a Facebook kind of a noise. A ba-doom. 
I don't, I don't know what that is, though. Oh, it could, it could have been a comment on the, um, the streaming. Streaming post, yeah. A comment on the streaming. Uh, well, here we go. Linking into this from, um, from Dakin. Will the Dark Souls 2 HSF make it to YouTube? Um, I noticed the MGS ones never did. Um, no, they probably won't be going to YouTube. I, I, maybe, but probably not. Dark Souls is a bit of a different beast, so is actually capable of going to YouTube. But like I said, I'm also thinking about containing U um, HDSF to Twitch nowadays. So... My... Impressive. Impressive. My... My... You see, I missed that sound. I really did. My, um... My inclination at the moment is probably not going to YouTube, unfortunately. But saying that, I'm at, I mean, I record all my streams, but I'm a bit worried... Apparently, one of the parts of Metal Gear Solid 2 doesn't work on the VODs. Which is like, um, excuse me? So, I'm like, hmm. Hey, Grumpy Girls, you weren't far off. Incoming scare, 3, 2, 1. You weren't far off, dude. You're only about, like, if you'd have counted 3, 2, 1 again, it'd have been pretty much spawned. That would have been scary. But impressive! I miss that sound. That is the that is that is the default one. That is the one that I'm gonna have forever's. That is that is the sound. But it's nice to have themed one in it per games and stuff like that. Brute Force MGS4 after the fall of wait a minute. Brute Force Metal Gear Solid 4 after the fall of Dark Titan Souls. <laughs> gonna be a great month from Mr. Grumpy Girls. Thank you very much, Grumpy Girls. Very very kind, sir. Claire asks if you're still enjoying your scarf. It was a pretty scarf. I saw that scarf getting made. It was nice. I wanted it. I'll make you one. Yeah, you were going to make me one. Because I remember saying, I like this scarf. It's pretty nice. You buy me the wool. And then you were like, oh, you have to make oh, I can make one if you want. I'm like, yeah, make me one. And that was it. You didn't buy me the wool. You didn't ask for the wool. What do you mean I didn't buy you the wool? You didn't ask. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you to say, squad. This is the best HSF year ever, and it's not even close to the end. I'd almost agree, you know. Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear Solid 3. Episode 2 will be finished soon, guys. Well, I swear, to, I swear, to, soon. And, um... South Park, there's gonna be Dark Souls 2. Titanfall doesn't really count as HSF. Not really. And, um... Metal Gear Solid 4, as well. I was actually saying, I might actually, like... Ease off on Metal Gear Solid games. Now I've done two this year. Maybe do two next year. Fuck no. No. No, I want to play them too much. So, yeah. It, it, uh, I'll put it, put it this way. Anyway, guys. Hold that four. Because it's only, uh, it's only March. So hold that four. But it's already, it's already shaping up pretty damn well. Oh, we, we already played Quake Awesome Day. We already played Quake, dude. We had a good um, 30 minutes. 20 minutes of um, Instagib TDM. And we had about 10 minutes of race, which was weird. Episode 2 being finished soon promises a game and promise. <laughs> it is kind of a little bit, isn't it? Like, soon, soon, soon. Yeah, 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 soon. Episode 3, soon. Half-Life 3, soon. Soon. Oh, oh, thank you very much, Alpha Centauri, as well. Oh, thank you very much, Grumpy Girls. Oh, thanking everybody. We thanks everybody. You're welcome. No, not Claire. Nah. You're gonna make me a scarf, so cool. Um yeah, like I say, thank you very much, Grumpy Girls. Like I say, especially with like the PS3 and the um Oh, can you imagine if I finished Demon Souls this year as well? Like Yeah, where the fuck have you finished? The, well, it's just been well at the, at the time with Demon Souls, it just, something happened, I don't know what happened, and it got disconnected. And this year I've been to my defence, I have been up and down in hell, Fanner. Chest stuff at the end of last year, beginning of this year, and then my stomach stuff for the past few weeks. It's not been great. So the time that I would have had to clean up, it's gone now because it's less than a week to Titan Souls. But I, I actually, I mean, I, I actually want to clean some stuff up. I really do. I was hoping, not hoping, but you know, if if South Park hadn't have been as great as what it was. I'd have, um, like, tomorrow, you know, done, like, 
uh, finished off episode two or something like that. I've done a set of episodes two, and then the day after that, I've done South Park, then the day after that, finished episode two, and then just squeezed in South Park where I could during Titan Souls. But unfortunately, it's fucking awesome. And I'm looking forward to. Unfortunately, this, this game that I spent £30 on is actually worth the money. Damn it. I actually want to play it. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Del Centauri. What have we got here? Nine levels to hell. I think I've seen this, actually. More ingestion material fill your vault. Yes, folk like you, dude, have done... I mean... Developers send me a lot of stuff. I contact quite a few developers. And then folk gift me a hell of a lot of games as well. And it's seriously like... The indigestion pool is deep. That well runs very fucking large and deep. Like I say, developers are great nowadays. The ecosystem between developer, indie developer and, you know, YouTube commentator is a very good one. I've said before, I said this before, hand in glove. And for gifting me loads and loads of games as well is fantastic as well. Like I say, the, the amount of indigestion material is large. And I can do AAA stuff as well. Like there's, Ooh! I didn't see this other game that you gifted me as Del Centauri. I thought I, I, thought I only had f eight friend invites. I apologize, dudes. I can't make room on my fr Steam friends list. If you're waiting to get onto my Steam friends list, dude, I'm sorry. At the moment, like, no... If you're offline for more than two weeks, I can remove people and, like, make new spots. There is nothing at the moment. Like, I just... I can't get the space, so sorry about that. But sweet dude, Descent 2. Got Descent 1 and Descent 2 now. Awesome. Now that's going into indigestion as well. Like I said, indigestion is actually quite a rough formula. Like, if somebody goes, well, that's not indie. And I go, well, no, it's more like indigestion. Like, you know, you don't fully digest it. It's first impressions. It's actually... I, I sh indigestion is actually a first impressions format. But doubles up as a primarily indie format, you know, indigestion and stuff like that. But it's actually a first impressions format, like you don't get time to digest it, the full game and stuff like that. That's where it primarily is. So, uh huh. No, no, no. I made the, no. My 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 video shows my fucking rules. My rules. It's same way I would successfully fail. Well, some, 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 sometimes folks say like, well, you did right well in that, like a first person game or something like that. It's like, well, it is how to successfully fail, you know, I'd say the commentary was a bit fail or whatever like that, you know. These base cover formats, where you can do pretty much whatever you like with them, which is fine for me, because that's exactly what I need. Well, thank you very much, Delta Centauri. As always, dude, very, very cool, very cool. Descent 1 and 2, I need to play Descent 1 and 2, I really do, I want to play Descent 1 and 2 now. Oh, sweet! Thank you very much, um, G-Cubed. Ikaruga. I've heard many a great thing about Ikaruga. Over the gun, I keep missing your streams. Oh, so many great games to play, plus one. Apologies if the time's a bit awkward or anything there, like that, dude. It's, um... It's the nature of the beast, isn't it, when it comes to streaming, really? Like, one, one time's great for Europeans, but not so much for Americans and vice versa. People have got work or other commitments and stuff like that. It's... Unfortunate nature of the beast. I do try to, uh, like, accommodate and, you know, do the best that I can. That's why it's usually around about 7, well, usually about 8 o'clock I stream. It's a bit late for Europeans, but not too bad. If I start streaming an HGSF at, say, like, 10 past 8, I start getting into there. Three hours, it's still before midnight in Europe. It's... 8 o'clock's a little bit early for America, though, but I need to, ideally, like I say, if I were going to stream three hours of an HGSF, I need to make sure, like, it's ending before midnight for European folks, you know. It's a little bit early for Americans, but not too bad. Not too bad. It's like, what? F 8 o'clock's about 4? No, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which is quite early, actually, but... At least you're awake and not falling asleep, you know? It's, it's, a, it's an hard one. It's very difficult to be... Because I don't consider myself to be like... Well, I am European, but I don't... <laughs> I don't consider myself to be, like, a, Europe, a, a streamer for Europeans or for Americans or, like, it's, I've actually got quite a mix. So it, it's a very, um, it, it's tough. It's hard to get, like, the exact right stream time. I think 8 might be a bit too late. Maybe I should drop it down to, like, 6. No, wait, no, that's too, no, it's too early. But if I go to, like, 9 or 10 o'clock, it's too late. I think, I think 8 is a 